Let's bake a German wheat bread on a Saturday. So you have it on Sunday morning, ready to eat, slightly warm and delicious. And I want to show you how to make it. Easy ingredients, super fast, and it's just a blast. Everyone will love you for this bread, trust me. It's a German wheat bread. Mm. This time no weird electrical components or technical stuff. Baking bread again, so if you don't like baking bread, Skip this video and watch the other videos, but if you like baking bread, if you want to know how to bake a German bread, watch this video. Since it's weekend and it's a Saturday and I want to have warm, nice, delicious German wheat bread tomorrow morning, we're baking it today on a Saturday. Keep in mind, you might need between 16 to 24 hours brewing time, so the best would be if you want to have it Sunday morning ready, you should start Saturday morning with the dough. And that's what we're going to do now. We will make a German wheat bread. Let's start. We'll only need four ingredients, guys four simple ingredients. We'll start with all-purpose flour. We'll need 600 gram. Three hundred ninety gram water. Around 12 gram of salt. I like a little bit more salty, so I'll put in more. A tiny little bit of dry yeast. There are 24 hours ahead of us where the dough can increase and double in size. Let's mix it. I'll do four minutes. After about four to four and a half minutes with my Thermomix on a dough kneading setting, I'm done with kneading. Oh, it was so much work, trust me. So much work, four and a half minutes. I'll use this bowl, I'll put it in, and after an hour, I will start kneading it again. It's not really kneading, it's more like folding from all four sides and then I'll cover it with a lid. I decided lately to use lids rather than just towels. Those lids have the advantage that they keep the air inside and whatever is developing inside, if it's getting warm and stuff like that, it's just staying inside and helping dough to increase in size. That's what we're doing now. I'll just let it sit in here, cover it with the lid. And we'll talk in an hour again. But an hour is way quicker for you. That's how it looks like after an hour. Now we're going to fold it on all four sides, even though it's round. Throw it on one side, pull it out, put it back in, and repeat it on the other three sides as well. That's what it is. Closing it, letting it rest for 16 to 24 hours, and then we'll continue. I'll see you tomorrow. For the recipes, baking with the Dutch oven or cast iron, just uh, look them up here. So before we start, we'll have a look. Our dough, the increase in size, it smells good. Before we continue doing stuff with it, let's preheat the oven. We'll turn it on on the American bake oven. So pretty standard baking feature which every American oven has. Kind of in German Oberunterhitze, most likely. And we'll preheat it to 475 degree Fahrenheit or 250 degree Celsius. And the preheating will be about uh, an hour. Don't forget to put your cast iron into the oven to preheat it for an hour as well. We need the brewing basket, you know, dough, a clean surface and flour. We'll add some flour, ideally in a brewing basket really quick. Getting that already Ready on our surface. Might need a little bit more flour for that. Now we're adding the dough. There we have it. Now we want to be a little quick. So we're folding it in one more time. All four sides. As you've seen already. Turning it around. What we want to do is tuck in sides a little bit more to the bottom. Just to make it a little bit more smooth on top. Just this on top. That will be that will be also our top part. There we are, we have enough flour in our proving basket, it's good. I'm taking my hand and I put it in like this. And no worries about the bottom, how it looks like right now. It will now increase a little bit in size. We'll cover it with a towel, put it to a warm spot. Warm spot means like room temperature not too hot and it will be able to raise a little bit to increase its size a little bit again we'll put it in the cast iron out we're covered and now it should work
All right, 45 minutes are over. We'll take the bread out. And put just the bread back in. We'll give it another five minutes. It's time to get it out. There it is. Let it cool down and let it breathe for a little bit. And there it is. Our four ingredient bread. Let's try and cut it open and see what it actually looks like. There it is. A German wheat bread. In the description are some links for the little utensils I used. So you also can, if you want to do that. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay notified what else is coming up soon. Tschüss!